All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Speakeasy Collectibles. Um, so today I got this in. No, it's not a heavy duty steam mop. Um, it is a prop. A prop that I've always wanted as a kid. So I saw this come up for sale. I immediately purchased it. Um, don't see too many of these come up. So um, again, immediately just purchased it. Um, so anyways, yeah, let's get this unboxed. I'm pretty excited. So, these are from the 1990 movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Raphael Size. Now these were done by uh, Carnivorous Creations. Um, this guy who made these took the actual measurements from the size and recreated it. Um, machined aluminum. Just, they got some pretty good weight to them too as well. Um, the handles are wrapped in leather. And I am just beyond ecstatic to have these. Um, I've always wanted to collect all the weapons, make a nice display wall of them. And I think I'm finally gonna do that. Now I gotta track the other weapons down. That's gonna take a little while, but I mean, this is a start, right? Man, these are really nice. Nice wrap job. Now, I believe the original ones in the movie were made of aluminum. I can't confirm that, but I do know that this, the katanas were made of aluminum. So I'm gonna go on a limb and say the hero ones were too as well. Um, I do know the practice, I believe they had some rubber um, stunt ones. I could be wrong though, but I, I haven't really found any information on these. It's really hard to find on the Ninja Turtles. Um, now, I, I thought about doing some weathering on these, but I don't want to mess them up. I'm not really good at that kind of stuff. Um, can't be hard though. I believe you just put like some rust paint on the blade and some scratch marks on this, but uh, again, I just don't want to mess them up. These are really clean, really nice, man. It's, again, nice weight to them as well. Um, man, I am super happy to have these. So, and then another another prop I got, uh, same seller. Was I got the uh, TGRI canister? This is really cool. This was done by a Grizzly Mountain Design, um, made of resin and acrylic. And the inside is painted green. And I believe if you put, I've seen pictures of his, um, on his Facebook, and I believe if you put like a black light on it or something, the green will, um, the green will uh, light up. But again, this is really cool. And this is from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, so. That's really cool to have right there. Um, but these size, man, whew, I'm excited for these. I really, um, I wanna do a nice little display with these things. Um, I was thinking maybe doing like a wood panel background. Uh, I've seen it, it looks pretty nice. Um, but um, yeah. Anyways, that's my haul for uh, today. Um, you stay tuned. I'm gonna try to work on a display here in, in the next uh, month or so. So, and hopefully I find the other weapons. It's gonna be a challenge, but um, if you guys ever see these come up, definitely if you're a Ninja Turtles fan, these are really cool. Nice, again, good weight to them and 
you know, they're, they're metal, so <laughs> you can't beat that. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned, more to come, guys. So we will see you in the next one. Bye now.